Please stop being delusional. Open the door for me. That's something that your girl's man is not your friend. Talking stage for me should last. Have a holly jolly Christmas. XOXO. Hi, uh, welcome back to another video. My name is Nady. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. This is my channel for beauty, lifestyle, everything good. So, first of all, I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm literally in my room and the noise from the street is just horrible so let's get started i feel like i'm too up close today i'm not sure if that's too intimidating for you guys i hope it's not because you can see me better in my reaction but let's get started today we're going to be having a girls talk and i'm just gonna answer a couple questions i have a couple questions over here i'm just gonna read them out and just answer if you guys can answer as well in the chat in the why am i saying chat if you guys can answer in the comments yeah it would be perfect and let me know all of your answers the first question is if you have a ghost to someone yes i did but me personally i prefer when someone ghosts me rather than me ghosting them because i don't know i just kind of feel bad i make sure i text the person just to make sure they will like see the message and not reply to me i hate like ghosting people and if i do it it's just because either the conversation is just like too bad i'm just not interested so yeah for me to get to the point to go see you it's because it's really bad because i prefer when someone goes to me like low-key <laughs> what's the green flag and what's the red flag for you a green flag for me i would say is when someone listen to what you say and they like do it imagine if you mention something that you like and they buy it for you that's that's something that i really love because i love active service as a main love language so yeah and a red flag for me i'll say someone who's very inconsistent i hate inconsistent people or someone who over promises and then never does i hate that especially when you hold a promise without someone asking for it when you're the one offering it and then you don't do it just like shut up come on i'm not asking for it just zip, zip. but yeah i hate that that pisses me off so much like it triggers me like i hate it honestly don't do that that's just so bad don't do it what's your ideal first day and what's your worst first date my ideal first date i don't think i have like an image of an ideal first date i just like to be just like to be cherished and cater like on the first date just give me like your best impression of yourself just like bring me flowers maybe um open the door for me that's something that yeah i appreciate a lot I literally love when someone opens the door for me. I hate, hate, hate going out with a guy and I have to open my own door. I'd be like thinking a lot when that happens, you know? While I'm opening my own door, I'd be like, okay, like, come on, why why am I opening my own door? That's something that I actually do. And I'll low-key try to just step back and see if they're gonna just like open the door or something like that. And if they don't do it, sometimes I say, can you open the door for me, please? I'll be just like really cute and ask them to do it. It normally works because once I ask them to do it once, they will always like do it, go on and go on. And I like that. So you have to catch the first straw. So yeah. And my worst first date, I'll say probably somewhere, including a house. Like, please do not take me to a hotel on the first day. Do not take me to your house on the first day. Do not take me anywhere where it's like intimate if you know what i mean that gives like yeah we're gonna have sex on the first day there's nothing wrong with it but it just gives out like thirsty you want to like yeah you want to just have sex that's what it gives out so yeah yeah don't do that please if it happens it happens but yeah don't take me to a place where i'm gonna think yeah this boy is trying to just hit in and hit out yeah no don't do that how to tell if someone likes you for me i'm very like specific i can see when someone likes me because they always like taking care of me they always like making sure i'm good and just like cater to me really and if someone doesn't do that or doesn't listen to things you like and do it or try to make you happy yeah that person doesn't like you 
or just not give you like time or day the person does not like you so stop thinking it's a sign or they're just slow burners no that person doesn't like you stop thinking they're just taking their time no that person doesn't like you especially men men when they like you they'll put a lot of effort into you to make sure you know they actually like you and they're interested in you so yeah so yeah please stop being delusional no delusional in 2024 no delusion 2025 no delusion ever got it got it another question that i'm actually curious for you guys to answer is talking stage even a thing and what it is and how long it should last talking stage that's the conversation that it always pops up and for me it's just like i'll give you i'll say i'll give you three weeks i'll give you three weeks to either impress me or to see if you actually interest and if after those three weeks i see you not putting any effort like we're not doing anything or we haven't seen each other for like outside reasons like if you live far away things like that that's different but if we live like close to each other we haven't seen each other in three weeks and we haven't went on a date in three weeks yeah i'm just gonna cut you off because why i'm gonna waste my time more than three weeks for like come on a talking stage is supposed to be just like an initial phase for me to know a little bit about you and then we go on a date and we start dating dating is just like start going on dates getting to know each other better it's not like being in a relationship dating and being in a relationship is different things you can be dating someone and not be in the relationship with them and yeah so guys stop being in like talking stages they're gonna last like a year two years that's like just ridiculous no one needs one year or two years to find out if they like you if you're not dating them if you're not in a relationship with them and you like talking to them for a year just cut it off like i mean it's so so for real just cut it off there's no point of it like why am i gonna be standing there like a year talking to, like what do we have to talk about so much anyways talking stage for me should last the maximum a month and it really depends it really 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 depends i normally just give out like three weeks and if I like the person a lot and I want to see if he actually interested, I'll give him one month. After that, I'll just like move on and just like, okay, cool, you, you're not interested, that's fine, bye, next. Next, yeah, but yeah, normally people do like three months, which is something that I do understand as well. Why are you going to be spending three months just talking to someone, not seeing them? That's crazy, respectfully. Guys, yeah, I think I'm going to step back a little bit because I feel like I'm too intimidating or too upfront. I think it's better like here let me try to yeah how to tell the difference between lust and love i feel like lust is just like sexual temporary and it's just like yeah over sexual it's just like more physical than actually emotional connection like yeah yeah it's just like more physical for me, love, love is kind, love is pure, love is like caring, love is patient, love is just, it's just something that you work for, it. but love is not something that is wrong, something that is like painful, it shouldn't be something that is hard. If you love loving someone like in a hard way, or they say the ride or die, you have to die for that person to show their love. I don't consider that love. I think that's kind of toxic. Love should be like very easy. If you really find your perfect match, everything will be smooth. Everything will be calm. Of course, there's going to be like arguments and things like that, but it's not going to be like very, very toxic, always arguing. Yeah, that's not love for me. I like a calm, relaxing, loving, passionate love. And that's what I'm looking for and that's what I want for me and that's what I want my kids to see and experience in the household rather than just like always arguing or always fighting things like that that's not something I want that's not something I experience uh, with my family or my parents so that's not something I want my kids to experience as well so love for me is kind pure patient loving and just happiness in general so I'm a lover girl go like come on I'm a Libra I'm a lover girl so I'm very particular about what I'm looking a person and what kind of love I wanted to experience so yeah is a long distance relationship worthy 
I feel like it depends. It really depends because there's a lot of long distance relationships that are just like so beautiful and you see that it's worth it to wait and come back together. But for me, I don't think I have ever experienced someone that made me think, oh yeah, this is worthy for me to be like miles away from you and still we have to like keep together you know what i mean i haven't experienced that but i've seen a lot of long distance relationship will work so yeah it can be it can be it can be not for me particularly but for the people i've seen it and it works so what's the girl code that people should follow a girl code that people should follow first off your your girl's man is not your friend let's get it in there so yeah your girl's man is not your friend stop being that friendly stop being trying to be like buddies with them no it's not your friend so i hate like i literally have a nice relationship with my girl's friends i mean my girl's boyfriends but it's just like a straight line like there's boundaries in there i never crossed that line i hate when people like start being like too friendly and things like that like just no get it together he's not your friend he's your girl's boyfriend okay cool that's something that more people should actually start doing that yeah if you guys met each other at the same time that different situation but if you met him afterwards yeah no hell no that's my opinion how to handle a toxic friendship for me toxic friendship and toxic relationship i cut it off right away i don't deal with that honestly i'm such a like i'll cut you off really really quickly i'm not sure if that's a really good thing i consider it but some people do not i do not take bullshit and i'll just cut it off really quickly because why are you wasting my time why are you like stressing me out my whole life no hell no nah. i'm gonna cut you off like this and i actually experienced one toxic friendship and i i just nah nah it's just not something for me i just What's a beauty product? Do you like everyone to use it? Huda Beauty Baking Powder. I live for I literally live for Huda Beauty Baking Powder. I would love, 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 love to do a collab with Huda Beauty. Like it'd be just a dream come true. And as well, and as well, uh, I think Fenty Lip Glosses. Because Rihanna, Rihanna, I literally love you. Like, oh my gosh, I love Rihanna. Everything that Rihanna does. I love her literally I would love to meet Rihanna I think that will be like my I made it like going to a Fenty Beauty uh, event and meeting Rihanna that will be like my goal to be okay I made I made I reached my goal that would be amazing so Rihanna um, Fenty lip gloss what's your current celebrity crush I don't think it have changed I think I'll say Skepta and I think it's Kofi. I never know how to say his last name. Let me show you guys. It's so fine. Uh, Kofi. Is Siri Boy? I, I don't know how to say, but this guy over here. Like, let me see a picture of him. You guys can see. Yeah. He's so fine. Literally, he's like so fine. I find him super attractive. So, probably them both. Yeah. How you deal with comparison on social media? um it's kind of hard i'm not gonna lie i'm not very i'm not a person who compares a lot of my life with other people but sometimes when you see someone reaching a goal that you have it's kind of like a bit downplaying like i'm gonna say you just kind of feel like a little bit oh why is that person getting something that i really want as well but at the same time is I don't know how much effort they put it to get it, how long they be trying to get it. So I try to think like that. I don't know the background of it. So I cannot really compare it since I don't know the background story. So I'm trying to say that all the time and just give myself like, okay, this is my path. Things gonna happen the way they should happen to me. And I shouldn't be comparing timing as well because I'm super young as well. And yeah, that's the mindset I try to keep really. But it's really hard. I'm not even gonna lie, it's hard sometimes. But everyone has their path, everyone has their timeline. And yeah, there's no finish line as well for life. There's no specific age. Uh, so yeah, you can guys and girls just be like friends. Okay, from my personal experience, my uncle since a young age have ever told me guys will never be just your friends they're only your friends because 
You said so. Because if you give them opportunity, they will try. I'm telling you this, they will try. And from experience, yes, they will try. I don't have one guy friend, I will say that. Because every guy that I consider my friend, they always try to have something more. And it's just like, yeah, hell nah. Even people that I actually talk, okay, this is actually my guy friend. Cool. I don't have to worry about it. Years later, they tried to have something and I was like, okay, yeah, you guys just destroy friendship for what? Just to get like, not rejected, but just to get rejected. You know what I mean? It's just like, keep the friendship. Guys, you gotta learn how to be just friends with girls sometimes. It's good to have girlfriends. You know, it's, it's a good, it's actually good. And I would love to have a guy friend who's actually just my friend. What's your dream job? And what are you doing now? My dream job, my dream job I would say is be a full-time YouTuber. Let's claim it. Guys, please, please, please help me with this. I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that would be my dream job. I'll do something related with social media because I really like like content in general, video editing, creating videos, and it's something that I really enjoy doing it. So yeah, that would be my dream job, just like getting paid to do that. And my current job is, I'm not currently working because I'm, I'm back to Portugal for a couple months. I'm going back to the UK. But before I came back to Portugal, I was working in an interior design uh, company, which is my degree. So yeah, that's what I was doing before. And then I just literally quit and came to Portugal for a couple months. And then when I go back to the UK, I'm going to try to focus more on content for a couple months and then if not i'm just gonna have to go back to interior design really because you know you have to get the bail pay. so yeah hopefully it doesn't happen by the time i go back to the uk yeah my main goal is achieved do you believe in manifesting your goals i do believe in manifesting my goals i really do and i feel like you should manifest you should speak out loud about things that you want to achieve because when you speak it, when you say it, it happens. If you're just thinking about it, most of the time it won't happen. So speak it, like put it out to the world, speak to people about it. And yeah, you never know, opportunity can like come up. Which fashion era would you like to live in? I feel like the 90s, the 90s or the early 2000s, like the micro skirts, the tank tops, like the high heels and just like the glam in general. Like guys, it's just like, the looks i love it like american um top model like i really 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 love the era and i think it's just beautiful everything the music as well and i feel like the influence that has nowadays as well is still top tier so i'll probably say end of 90s early 2000s i'll just stop procrastinating and actually get things done okay this is very targeted to me because i procrastinate a lot i can't lie sometimes i do but then I'll be like, no, you're wasting your time procrastinating when you could do like something that can make your life better. So yeah, why are you doing it? Or like, why are you doing it? You know what I mean? So I start like actually doing things and thinking, okay, do this for 20 minutes and then you take a break. And then after the break, you do a more five and then you take a break and you do like have breakers in between the things you're doing. It, it can help a lot. For example, for editing, for me, editing, it takes so long, but since I enjoy it, I don't procrastinate as much editing and doing videos. But with other things, if I don't enjoy it as much, I'll procrastinate it more. And I will be thinking, okay, I really need to do this because it's really, really... Sorry, my camera cut it off in the middle. But yeah, so I'll be have the mentality, okay, do it for 10 minutes and then you take a break, but at least do something for five minutes. And that's how I try to get things done, really. Why you stop doing YouTube videos? Why you stop posting? So I stopped posting for a while because I was having a rough time in my life. So I just needed like a little break. And yeah, I needed a break just to see myself, what I wanted to do really with YouTube and why I was doing it in the first place. And the reason why I was doing it in the first place is because I really enjoy recording things. I love like rewatching my memories and just see everything that I've done. That's the first reason why I started my YouTube channel so I can like kind of create something, a visual memory that I could watch later on. So it was something particular and then uh, when you put something so much effort into something and you don't see like being appreciated can be a little bit downgraded for you as well. 
But I was like, you know what, let me go back because the main reason why I started doing it is for me to like just record all of my memories, the good ones, the bad ones, and just having a place where I can rewatch it and my kids later on can rewatch it and see like, oh, this is my mom when she was younger and things like that. So I was like, let me get back to it. Let me just, yeah, get back to everything. And since I'm in Portugal right now and I'm not as busy and it's Christmas, I was like, let me do a vlog, let me try to see how it goes, like recording every day, editing every day and see how it goes. And I'm not gonna lie, vlogmas are so hard, like editing every day, like the ideas, try to be different, trying to be consistent every day posting every day like so i appreciate the people with the vlog because it's really really hard especially when you're editing yourself and yeah that's that's really hit but i'm back i'm better so guys please like the video subscribe it helps a lot and it helps the channel grow as well so that's really it for the video today i hope you guys enjoy it. i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe comment and let me know all of your answers in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video